Hello everybody and welcome to Romanceville's Tarot. I'm about to begin here with a reading. Now this is a general reading so it might not resonate with everybody. It's really important that you do take whatever does resonate with you and you simply leave the rest of it aside. Now if you do have any questions, you would like to contact me, um, no matter what the reason is, um, please do just verify at the bottom here into the YouTube description box and you will find all the necessary information. So contact and list of readings that I do offer. Please do not hesitate. It will be my great pleasure to assist you. Also, if you have not yet subscribed to the channel, please do take a brief moment of your time to click the subscribe button to show your support to the channel and to myself. And it is always and very appreciated. And I do thank you so very much. So with no further ado, Let's begin this reading. Now these are messages from the universe to you that you need to hear. So let me uh, turn them over and reveal them to you. We're going to be speaking about some truth, about the moon, about some water and miracles. So let's start it off with the truth over here. Now, there is great power in simply telling the truth and allowing it to lead you to higher ground. It's only when we refuse to see the reality of a situation that we really lose our power to co-create for the highest good. Now, this message here comes to you to remind you that if you are willing to do a fearless self-inventory and just live authentically with rigorous honesty, it's going to lead you to great success, but in all areas of your life. So being completely transparent with others, although it might be you know, be at first, it might feel a little bit too vulnerable. It is exactly what you need to do right now. When you do this, you will be flooded with the power to claim and to experience a new freedom and a new happiness that will pour over your life like a wild, sweet honey. Let's put it that way. So your life is, is exactly where it needs to be right now. And this is a wonderful time of empowerment, choice making. You are doing all of the right things if you follow the invitation that the universe is giving you right now and live fearlessly in truth. Now, the law of karma states that everything comes into balance sooner or later. So you need to trust in the greater story of life. All wrongs are going to be right. And the, um, the message here is really this goddess, goddess of Matt, appears with her scales of justice to remind you that you are seeing only one moment in time. The balance of events, they tip both ways until it comes into coherence with the harmony of the universe. So regardless of this natural rebalancing, it is time to speak up if you see any injustice in your own personal world. This is about you wanting to be truly free and everyone must be free. So this is offering you the alignment task of considering where you may have hurt someone else and how your unconscious projection of how the world should be may have set you up for maybe a transgression, even if you were innocent. So this is a time of great unraveling and nothing meaningful is going to be accomplished without some type of effort. Another message for you is to see behind the words of others, especially when you feel that they may be withholding a truth or acting without awareness. It is important not to enable this. Tell the truth with as much love as you can, even though denial may kind of just, you know, be swept away in an awkward moment and everyone feels exposed. It is so important. It's an important way to just move on forward for you, but to move on forward with compassion. And this is really just to remind you that this is about correcting your course and it's about giving you and you are receiving the full support of the universe right now. Moving on forward now after the truth to the moon. Now the moon has as a message for you that Right now, you're invited to see what is familiar and you're invited to decide whether you need to improve it or leave it. Just leave things as they are. The answer to your inquiry can be found in the timing of things and the cycle that you're in because we are speaking of the moon here. So you can apply the idea of natural cycles to relationships, creative projects, personal growth and more. So if you are honest with yourself, you're going to see that there is no way to control these cycles, only to use the creative energy that is offered to you to help you. 
If your relationship is unclear yet brimming with potential, you might turn to the new moon energy that shows up into the spring cycle of life. And in that case, you just need to allow the relationship to grow naturally and to be clear in your intentions. Now, when your outer world seems to be slowing down with obstacles rising up and temporarily blocking your every move, don't put up any resistance. Instead, take advantage of the need to rest and recalibrate your intentions as you wait for the cycle to simply change. So sometimes you might feel like you're a little bit out of sync with life, maybe frustrated that the universe simply isn't providing you with what it is that you desire, what it is that you ask for. Do you want what you want exactly how and when you want it and you feel like maybe the universe is ignoring you? You may be wanting something to happen faster than it's actually meant to occur. Remember, the conditions of your life are temporal and they are ever-changing. So maybe you've just been unaware of the cycle that you're in and so you've been missing all of the signals. Moving on over now to the water. So we're going to be moving to a little bit of uh, emotions over here usually with the water. So... The um, if you're feeling overwhelmed and overwhelmed and empathy overload has opened up a tidal wave of emotions that might feel like it's threatening to engulf you. Let's put it that way. Feelings are maybe unruly now, and you may discover that it's that it's difficult. It's difficult to to control them as you project their shadowy fears onto the screen of your life. So the universe is asking you to task now is to detach, to step back and to allow your feelings to pass through you like water without judgment or disapproval. Let your fears be washed away with self-love and with understanding. The world can be really chaotic. It can be full of uncertainty and it can create instability where people just kind of act out of incomprehensible ways. So move to higher ground, say no to engaging and wait. Now is simply not the time for you to respond when you feel ready rather than react in the heat of the moment. So let, just let this goddess here and let the universe hold you up and surround you like the fluid did in your mother's womb and let love be that water. Let the universe help you. And to conclude, we're going to move on over to miracles. This is with Mary. So Mother Mary of Miracles has come to celebrate with you today because she is here to remind you of all of the amazing wonders that are everywhere in your life right now. You need to look around you, especially at the synchronistic events that have already taken place. Ever since you were born, events and opportunities, they come together to do what? To support you, to guide you, to show you love and to present the world as you see it. Look closely and see the hand of the divine working on your behalf. You're a powerful co-creator and so you are responsible and accountable for the thoughts and the feelings and the beliefs that seed your field of dreams. So you need to remember that miracles, they're uncanny evidence that from the invisible world, life springs into form without any reasonable cause for the effect. So maybe you've stopped believing in miracles, Maybe you think that they're only for others and you even doubted their existence now. Could it be that maybe you've been reading and maybe watching the news too often and finding yourself kind of feeling powerless, maybe even despondent? Have no fear, okay? Mother Mary here has a message for you and this is about your mindset. This moment is an opportunity for you to turn things around and to begin with your thinking. What if you remember that your repeated thoughts and your feelings and your beliefs call the world into form? What if you recommitted to your co-creative partnership with the divine? And from there, you choose another way to experience your life. What is for you has its own divine timetable and your alignment task is to remember that right now. And this does conclude your reading.
I do hope that you enjoyed. I do hope that it brought you some interesting messages. If you do have any questions you would like to contact me, please do so. All of my information is right below into the YouTube description box. If you have not yet subscribed, please do subscribe and have yourself a beautiful day. Thank you for being there and I will see you tomorrow with new messages. Many blessings to you.